All right, Mary Kay, we got to hear from Sashi Brown, Paul D. Podesta, and Hugh Jackson today as they wrap up the 2016 season, a 1 in 15 season, and uh, no quarterback still on this roster. Although the Browns front office was not willing to come out and say that today. Uh, are you buying it? Do you think the franchise quarterback is on this roster? You know what? I really don't. I think, uh, you know, I don't think they're willing to say that yet, but I think they know it too. I think they realize it right now. You know, hey, Cody Kessler is a good developmental quarterback. I don't think they think that RG3 uh, really can be the guy going forward he's got too far to go to be that complete quarterback uh, so I think that they will leave no stone unturned in the offseason I think they'll look in trades I think they'll look uh, in the draft and I think Hugh as they said will have a huge role in that yeah I think the driving force behind them getting that quarterback this offseason was the man sitting in the middle today the head coach Hugh Jackson uh, the other thing that they talked about was the number one pick briefly will they trade the pick of course they traded down from number two last year and Sashi Brown did not rule it out no, he didn't. And you know how these guys love to acquire yeah. picks. But uh, I think they're at the point now uh, where they have to add impact players. And if that impact player is there at number one, I think they'll stay there and take him, whether it's Miles Garrett, Jonathan Allen, or one of the quarterbacks. Yeah, they have to learn from the lessons of last year. Maybe the trade down wasn't the wrong thing, but it did cost them a shot at a guy like Joey Bosa, a guy like Ezekiel Elliott. They need to get that kind of blue chip talent out of that number one pick. And the last bit of news, Mary Kay? Much to your chagrin, they will not add someone to the personnel department. Well, you know, I think what they will probably do is give Hugh Jackson more of a say in personnel matters. You saw it up there already. They were talking about how he will um, weigh very heavily in the quarterback decision. So I think that's kind of the change they're thinking of right now is bring Hugh more into the fold. I, for one, don't think that's enough. Uh, you know, I think it's asking too much of Hugh Jackson. I think he needs another pair of eyes. And one thing you do if you start to do that, giving Hugh a little more power, maybe you create a little bit of a power struggle within the organization. And look, this group could be helped by an outside football voice. It's not going to happen, though, at least as of right now. We'll have full coverage of everything we got today from the locker room and, of course, from the press conference with with Hugh, Sashi, and Paul D. Podesta at cleveland.com slash browns.